Hello again, everyone. I'm still here, alive and kicking. How to install service entrance cable, coronavirus edition. <laughs> Anyways, just sold my house, moving to Las Vegas. Have to do some electrical upgrades, so I have to replace the service entrance cable, so I thought I'd involve everybody else. Life still goes on, even though uh, there's this virus thing going on. But I've, man I've managed to stay uh, sequestered in the basement. Um, beers, tacos are still flowing, so uh, it is what it is. So we do what we can. Again, life goes on. But we're gonna install service entrance cable today, and I'm gonna start with the first step. What we do is we set up the lights. We're gonna need some lights while we're uh, landing that in the panel, right? So let me show you, we're gonna get right down to it. Whoop. Okay, first thing we do, the panel cover off. Well, we're gonna be taking the, the cable out of that breaker pulling it out from outside but the very first thing you want to do is set up a light I'm in a basement I know a lot of places in this country don't have basements but here we do actually it's pretty awesome so but I set up my light in there take my core right out the window boom okay here we are outside so I said the first thing is to set up the lights in the basement if you need them but we're gonna work on the very first steps out here at the uh, meter can itself. So, next videos that you're gonna see are of my girlish hands and this beautiful, this this voice of mine. It should be on radio. Well, I got, like I said before, the face for radio. But anyhow, but uh, yeah, I'll point out all the steps from here and uh, let's get ready to rock and roll, shall we? Okay, some more of the first steps. I guess there's a lot of first steps. So, like I say, I'm not this video guy who plans anything out or anything like that. I kind of do it at the spur of the moment. But anyhow, so here we have the Edison tab. Just clip that baby, pull it out. A little lever up. Your can pop right out. Look at that. All right. Now, again, this power is hot. So, I wouldn't advise doing this hot if you don't know what you're doing. Get a pro out there, whatever. But this is just to show you how it's done, so you know. All right? Pull the meter. And that's that. So, what I usually do, because I want to, I don't want to get hung up because I know everything's rusty. I'll put a little bit of this Loctite on here just to make sure that I can loosen up all the bolts and it doesn't break off on me. Because this is fed from underneath. It's fed from underneath, not above. If it, a, if it was above, I could just clip it off and replace it. But here, this is going to be hot all the time. I can't ask Edison to come and just shut this off. So i got to make sure I get it right the first time. So, uh, let's see if I can get this out. Let's connect her out. Oh, yeah. That stuff works wonders. That yeah, still may be a pain in the ass. Okay, now, got that loosened up. First thing I do, clip my cable. I know that it's off because I just took the meter out. <clears throat> Boom, done. Okay, now I'm gonna dig my hand in there. My hand in there. Again, make sure you have gloves. We're on the load side of this. I don't know if you can see this or not. A little closer. Here we go. Got my half inch nut driver. Just pull these babies out. But remember, the top of this is still hot. So just, just got to be very, very careful. And I got lucky because this doesn't have any no locks or deox, that liquid that I've talked about before. So it doesn't oxidize. When it does, these lugs, you'll never get them out. So. This thing's such kind of a jumbled mess. I think I'm going to cut them off first to get them out. <clears throat> All right. One. Whoa. The other one. <clears throat> Two. All right. Put in there. Bam. Out. The neutral in. Take my hot wire, put it on the line side. Boop, 
they got power. That little Romex goes to this plug, and I plug in my cord. Now I know I'm gonna get bitched out from about a lot of the know-it-alls and whiners and whatnot. Oh, you didn't do this. Not professional. You should do this. Should be insulated. This is me doing it. I'm not telling you to do it this way. So all you fucking cry babies, you go cry at your mom's house. Don't cry over here. So, all right, that's that part of it. Now let's take the rest of the cable out, shall we? So I already cut the cable out from upstairs, from downstairs. It's already coming out of the panel. So it's cut off. You just pull it out. But because it's been mortared in through there, a lot of times it doesn't come out so easy. We'll see. Let's see, gotta put a little acid to it. There we go. What do you know? Now, and also, that cable isn't as big as the uh, isn't as big as the new one's gonna be coming in. The sheathing and everything. So a lot of times, pardon me. There we go. <laughs> a lot of times, we have to ring that hole out to get this cable in. But we'll try it. We'll try it. Here we go. Wish me luck that it goes in. Here's a hole. There you go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Yes. Yes. Sometimes you get lucky. I just did. And that should be enough inside there. Probably caught up on the floor joist or something. But so now that we have that in, we could put what we need, we could put what we need in the meter can. Here we go. So how we do this, put our connector in where we pull the old one out. Called atomic connector. It expands from three-quarter to one inch. I even get static for these when I put Four row mixes in it. Well, it states that the manufacturer wants you to do it. Blah, blah, all this bullshit. Nobody could ever recite a code to tell me how many I could, how many wires I could put in this stupid thing. But you try to only put two wires in this, this whole thing's gonna pop out. It's three quarters for a reason. They have different sizes for a reason. It's not gonna get hot. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's just meant to hold the fucking wires. Just cry babies out there. I try and do a channel to help. The homeowner, the beginner, just to show you some things. And you'd be amazed at the crybabies, the, the YouTube police, you know. Anyhow, enough of me crying, right? Anyhow, so remember, this is hot that I'm working with. So I pull it out, I guide it out with my hand here, all right? Now, I know that I'm going to need, I don't know, four, six inches, maybe more of some cable. So I pull out, I pull out too much. I figure, ah, right around here will be good. I score it. In my previous videos I did a couple years ago, I talked about having a dull blade. This is that same blade. It's just enough to score it. Then I take it down the center of this. I went all the way around it. Cut away from yourself. Cut your buddy, not yourself, okay? Pull that sheeting off this stuff off. You don't want to twist the neutrals together just yet. Now we can do it because this wire's in the way. All right. So I'm gonna pull it down here. I'm gonna pull it. I'm holding with my other hand. Okay. Now I want this secured. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten it down while well, I still get the wires hanging out. So I can hold it so it doesn't bounce under a hot terminal. All right, it's in. What do you know? All right, so, take my neutrals first. Take them away from the wire. I'm gonna twist them together. Okay, and get an idea how much I need. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to put it off to the side 
get an eyeball. Cut that end off. My no ox, my deox, so it doesn't get oxidized underneath there. In case you need to service it later. Plus it's code. I think people jump up, tell me it's not code, but I've been shot down by the inspector because of it. That's how I know. So you can't tell me anything about it being code or not being code when the inspector shoots you down. So that's how I learned. All right, well, I tighten it down. Still gonna need lights downstairs, so let me just take this neutral back up in there. And then tighten it down, here we go. All right, now to the hots. So what I do, they're aluminum, they're pliable, it's easy to work with. I'll put a little, little elbow in it, get an idea of what I need, cut it off, about an inch or so, barely score this wire, these connectors, these cutters rather, comes right off, one at a time, nice and easy. Locks. Bend it. Takes a little bit of muscle. I have very little of it. That was it. Wrench it down. Pretty basic part. We just uh, take the wires out of the, the main breaker, take the neutral out of the lug and uh, replace it with the other cable. I've already pulled it in from outside, so uh, it's a little tough getting the camera in there while I'm working, but I'll show a couple little clips of it so you can see uh, how it's going in, okay? Loosen them up. I already loosened up the Tomic up there. Hopefully this will come out fairly easy, but take them off from the breaker, straighten the wires out, take that out. Yeah. doing this holding the phone in one hand okay that's it okay got the cable in now remember what we're gonna do take the razor knife we're gonna score it on both sides so we're gonna run it down the length of this down this cable right just like we did the meter can all right so I'm gonna do that and then uh, I'm gonna land it in the breaker okay so I trimmed them all up just like outside pre-trimmed them, put the no locks on them. So uh, just like before, just go underneath the lugs and you screw them down, you know? So I'm not gonna sit here and keep going through it. I've got another video, how to wire a panel, if you wanna see that part of it. This is really self-explanatory. Okay, we're all set now. Turn the breaker on, we're good. One thing to remember, before you pull out a meter or anything that you do, Shut off the main breaker. You can shut off all the breakers because you don't want a you don't want an arc when you pull out that the meter or when you put it back in. That's that's the worst case scenario. But not a giant deal. But anyhow, it's not like people think that there's this influx, a surge, like the voltage goes from zero to 120, like like a hose when you pinch a hose and they let it go. This influx, there's no surge. Breakers just off or on. If you've got a 15 amp breaker. Goes 15 amps, goes 16 amps, shuts off. That's all it is, it's a switch. Anyhow, all right, uh, like, subscribe. Um, so I'm doing a little, uh, I'm going to be retiring, um, moving to Vegas, starting a new venture called knuckleheadsmanspa.com. So check it out. So what this is, it's going to be part of the nonprofit organization that uh, teaches veterans skilled trades to help them get licensed. This is a way, I'm just going to do a, uh, fundraising for uh, the veterans full-time now so it's gonna be I'm gonna work under electriccity.org and uh, we're gonna be opening up this man spa it's a place in Vegas to kick it uh, it's a membership club um, cigars gonna be a bar in there uh, you can get a massage get your feet massaged uh, I mean watch TV you know bond with the guys but uh, everything's gonna go to the nonprofit organization so uh, check out knuckleheadsmanspa.com Check us out on Facebook, um, 
let's see, what are the Instagram, what have you. We're on all of them, just Knuckleheads Man Spa. And uh, thank you for all that you that's been supporting me. A lot of great comments and every everything. I mean, people, 99.9% .9 of the people, you guys are, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna continue to do these uh, videos though. Still, I want to help the people who. Uh, are just getting into the trade, or homeowners want to stay safe, or, or maybe you just find find me fucking interesting. Maybe want to buy me a beer, or a taco. That's what I prefer. So anyhow, um, we're gonna we're gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna keep on making the videos, uh, but that's what I'm gonna be doing full time. I sold the house in Michigan, uh, moving to uh, Vegas, baby. This coronavirus uh, outbreak has sucked, but uh, my house was under contract when it first started, so. I'll be moving down there during the thick of things. It may delay my opening, but uh, we'll check back. So I want everybody who follows me to take a look. If you're ever in Vegas, stop by, man. I'm going to be there every day. Seven days a week, we're going to be open. So it's going to be grandiose. It's going to be badass, man. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share. Cool.